that's pretty cool actually I was gonna change this but I think that looks good enough already so let's go ahead and save uh, make sure you guys have really original stuff I uh, hate seeing really crap intros so um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the frames we haven't looked at yet like this that's gonna look cool already it's like an orange glow versus like a greenish white it looks almost so anyway uh, remember to drop a like I uh, don't even know how long I've been recording I've been recording half hour so I'm gonna split this into pieces I expected to and wow that looks amazing <laughs> Uh, I don't know. It doesn't look as cool as I thought. That still looks really awesome. But anyway, um, I'm gonna show you guys some stuff out of Cinema 4D. How to edit intros. Man, I just hit my filter too. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit some intros outside of this uh, as extras to this tutorial uh, in softwares with Adobe After Effects and Sony Vegas. I might actually just do Sony Vegas. But anyway, uh, save this, and now let's go into the render settings. So uh, go ahead and set yours to either 1280, 720 if you haven't already, and 60. And uh, this is important. Uh, however many frames you set. I set mine to 120, so from 0 to 120. And then go to your save. It's set to JPEG, which is a picture. I, I'm going to suggest QuickTime Movie. Uh, go to your options. Uh, 30 frames per second 60 is what I'm setting mine to uh, like so name it whatever you want um, touch intro and this actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it raw because I always name it raw because I always edit these afterward make sure all these are checked and don't touch any of these because those are my uh, custom settings Go ahead and save it in case there's an issue. And then to render it, you're going to click this right here in the middle. And uh, beware, uh, before you render, very essential. Uh, let me go and show you this in case you're not familiar. Go to your computer, or go to your start first off. Go to your start, right-click computer, and then go to properties. Okay, so I've got a custom computer. So it's got... 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is a very good RAM. Uh, and then uh, I've got an i7 chip, uh, quad core, 64-bit. Um, uh, what else is there? And it's it's really powerful. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but uh, <laughs> I probably am. But uh, uh, make sure you have at least 6 gigabytes of RAM. If you're gonna, if you have less than 6 gigabytes of RAM. Go right now and change this to 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second, okay? Because it's not going to work out for you. Uh, but that's what you're going to want to do. And now I'm going to uh, stop this recording, and uh, I'll be back in probably a while. This may take you, this could seriously take you up to 10 hours. So just leave your computer. This will take up a lot of RAM. I'm going to go ahead and start this just to show you guys, even on my uh, uber-powered custom PC, what it's going to look like. Uh, this is rendering max settings, 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second. So check this out. I'm going to show you my task manager. Performance, CPU usage, 100%. You see that? Even on my uh, max out, it goes from zero CPU all the way to 100. So you're not going to be able to do practically anything on your computer while this is running. I recommend uh, doing this overnight. See, it's using uh, seven, 78 or so CPU. Uh, it's using a lot. So you're going to want to leave this going. So leave this going overnight or something. Um, and I'll be back in a minute. So. Okay, what's going on guys? Jumbo Videos are one back uh, with the advanced intro tutorial and uh, now that our intro has finished rendering out uh, I accidentally closed the little window that had the render in it but uh, once all the frames are done uh, we can go ahead and exit this but make sure you save before you exit okay so now we're finished in Cinema 4D so now uh, this is non-essential but this um, 
is very it's actually very essential in making an advanced intro now that we've got our raw file uh, right here properties uh, as we can see it is a pretty big file 1.13 uh, 1 gigs um, it's four seconds long pretty big for a four second video right but uh, <laughs> uh, now we're gonna go ahead and edit it because uh, you can't really have an intro just silent text flies in that's not really good so <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and edit it what I'm gonna be using to edit is uh, I suggest you guys get these if you don't already have them uh, first I'm gonna be using Sony Vegas Pro 11 very essential to the editing process and also I'm going to be using Adobe After Effects CS6 uh, I'm gonna be using both in the uh, remainder of the tutorial so if you don't have them like I said um, get them I really don't suggest two things I do not suggest editing with Camtasia it will not make for a, a very good intro and also I do not suggest this program Windows Movie Maker or Windows My Movie Maker it will not turn out as a good intro I promise to God um, but anyway let's go ahead and uh, head into Vegas um, if you guys aren't familiar with it uh, how to import you just go file and actually let me go file new uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this so I'm using this template slightly modified so copy these settings so with 1280 height 720 field order none aspect uh, 1 0 degree output rotation 29.97 uh, 32-bit uh, uh, floating point uh, linear or 1.0 linear uh, make sure this is best this is really important and make sure uh, motion blur type is Gaussian it's also very important uh, make sure this is set to none uh, go ahead and go to audio uh, copy this stuff it's just basics uh, ruler doesn't matter summary doesn't matter that doesn't matter so copy all that stuff if you need to just go ahead and rewind the uh, video and then click OK now go to file import media uh, this is how you import a video scroll down until we find uh, what it is that we want which is uh, the intro that we made so these steps that I'm gonna be doing from here to a, the next couple are not required but they are recommended okay so I would really suggest following if you're not that great at intro making so go ahead drag this into the timeline and then right click on the video in the timeline click properties select disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio then click OK now what we're gonna do is go to file render as um, and I have a custom preset I'll let you guys go ahead and copy it so go to customize template what I'd suggest starting out with is uh, HD internet 720p and not 1080p select customize template on this and then change all that stuff to these so it should be set to 1280, 720, 1280 with height 720, profile high, frame rate 19, or what am I saying? Two, or ugh, 29.97 NTSC. Uh, check that. Uh, None progressive scan one, two, and then 10 million. Uh, this select automatic and uncheck that. If you have a weak computer meaning you have less than six gigabytes of RAM okay that includes everyone with four gigabyte computers uh, I know a lot of people with four gigabyte RAM computers think they can render this kind of thing out quickly but they can't I'm sorry uh, render and then enable progressive download if you have a very fast computer six gigabytes of RAM or over like I do and then select audio uncheck this for now but copy these settings copy these two okay uh, system doesn't matter and then select video render qualities change it to best okay so just make sure you got all these settings copied and then name it something and then click this button to save the template if you don't have this template already um, and like I said save it like that and then when we're gonna go ahead and render uncheck this and then click OK so now we're gonna name it 
Vegas render because it hasn't been edited yet it's just a render and then select render it shouldn't take too long to render so go ahead and wait for this to render and I'll go ahead and explain why it is that I'm doing this I'm doing this because the file like I said is so big it's hard for even a really powerful computer like mine to actually be able to handle the uh, file watching it in preview like if I if I selected this as you can see it's really framey and laggy uh, it's not good so we we want to be able to see what we're doing so let me go show you I mean right click the uh, thing and select properties and as you can see it's only 3.5 megabits compared to the one gigabyte file that it just was it's the exact same thing I'll go ahead and show you uh, in Windows uh, Media Player I mean it's the exact same thing no frames lost um, nothing different uh, it's just about the same thing and uh, it's really pretty awesome so uh, render it and select go back in Vegas select new and don't save your changes and just use the same template uh, file import media and we're gonna go ahead and import the Vegas render uh, what I'm gonna do is it's kind of short so I'm gonna drag it to uh, about seven seconds and then I'm gonna uh, follow my mouse for a second I'm gonna go over here and uh, once the arrow looks like this now drag it in so that we can take a closer look at the file and uh, actually let me delete this you guys probably didn't know what I did so uh, uh, let me clarify what I just did there. Uh, select the file, then hold down control on your keyboard, move your mouse to the very end, and it should look like this. It's got a squiggly line. I'm dragging mine to about seven seconds, like so. Then right click it, properties, disable resample, maintain aspect ratio, just like we did earlier. Okay. So now it's at about seven seconds, but if we take a look at this, It looks pretty good, doesn't it? I mean, it looks good, but there's an issue. The the text is only actually in place for one frame, which is not enough for whoever's watching your intro to actually see what it says. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the back, the very end, just click like this, and then uh, using the arrow key on your keyboard, uh, the up, down, left, and right arrow keys right next to enter and shift, select the left arrow key to go over one frame okay so you've went over just tap it once it'll go over one frame and then press the S key on your keyboard to split the clip I don't know how to split a clip other than the S key so just press S and split it so then hold down control again go and drag this out as far as it'll go and then hold down control on your keyboard V hold down control and yeah and then press V and then keep holding control or actually let go of control tap the very back and then press or control C actually control C nah I'm confusing myself okay scratch what I said on control V okay so just select the clip control C and then after that select the back and press control V I'm sorry about the confusion there paste it Keep uh, keep holding control and pressing V until it's at about uh, eight or nine seconds. I'm going to go to nine seconds, like halfway on nine, to give myself some leeway. And now, as we can see, let's go ahead and watch it. It's looking pretty good, and the text stays. Okay, so now it's ready to be rendered. Uh, you can go ahead and rewind the video if something I said wasn't too clear I'm sorry but um, go to file render as and use customize your template and keep it exactly the same okay so I actually just paused that to, to go eat lunch but uh, resuming where I left off so uh, leave this uh, all as it was when we just did it and then click OK um, we're gonna name this intro edit one and uh, I just pressed enter to uh, start the render 
So let's go ahead and uh, let this render out. Normally this would render faster. It's just uh, since I'm recording right now, some of the CPU on my uh, computer is being used up too. So okay. So now uh, let's go to File, New. Uh, don't save your changes and then click OK. Um, then we're gonna go File, Import, and then Media, and scroll down and we're gonna look for Intro Edit One, right here. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do? Uh, start off. Uh, right click Properties, Disable Resample, Maintain Aspect Ratio, uh, and then. Um, Okay, so now uh, what I want to do is let's go ahead and watch this really fast. See what it looks like. Looking pretty cool. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a uh, fade out. Uh, by doing how to do this, uh, you just go over to the far end, come to the very top uh, with your mouse like so until it looks like a uh, like a curved arc kind of thing, uh, quarter sphere, I guess. Um, so then, uh, click it, drag it over like so, and we're gonna do the same on the front, except we're gonna make it shorter. So now let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna drag this bit longer, like so, and there we have it. The intro is um. Pretty good looking. Um, I feel like there's something else that I need to be doing here. So that's the intro, and now I remember what I need to do. This is very important, actually. So now we're gonna go ahead and select music for the intro. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't think about that, but uh, I already went into my iTunes and pre-selected a song. Uh, it's called "Smiling" by Hi Res. It's a rap song, but it's pretty good. So, go to File, Import and Media, and I'm gonna go ahead and import the song, like so, and just drag it into our timeline. And now we're gonna need to pick a uh, spot. Let's go ahead and listen to the song. See if we can pick a spot. Okay, that's too far. Too far. Okay, too far. Let's try it back here. Okay, that's about it where I want to be. Try about right here. Drag this. Drag this to the very beginning. Let's go ahead and split this. And I'm just using the split tool by pressing S, like I said earlier, to uh, split this. Okay. That looks pretty cool. I'm going to drag it out a little bit more because I'm waiting for him to say the next word. See if he says it. God dang it. Uh, drag it right here. Let's try it now. Oh my god. It's like right where I don't want it to be. Okay. He's got to say now, okay? So. There we go. That's perfect. So now, uh, drag some fades into the front like I just showed you guys how to do. And. 